OK, um, let's, talk about, let's talk about what this one is our even and odd functions. So one thing I want you guys to talk, one thing I want to show you guys is two functions. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to what, we, what we're learning about right now. So the first function is our quadratic. And the first one, the next one is our x cubed. All right? Now, only looking at symmetry, does anybody know why we might call this one? We call this an even function. All right? Huh? It's symmetrical about the what, the what? It's symmetrical about the y-axis. So there's something I want you guys to know. This is what we call an even function. The reason why is it's symmetrical. You guys are going to want to write this down. All even functions are symmetrical about your y-axis. It's not even because this is just the function of x squared. All right? Yes, I know f of x equals x squared. But there are exponents that are even that end up not being symmetrical graphs. Okay? So it is symmetrical about your it's symmetrical about the y-axis. And the other important thing is if I was to plug in f of negative x, I get out f of x. That's something very important for you guys to understand. So this is what we call an even function. Let's test it. f of negative x equals negative x squared, which is equal to x squared, which was our original function. OK? Um, huh? I'm sorry? OK. Um, let's look at, if you guys are going to look at this one, this is, this is not even. f of x equals x squared plus x. That's not even. Why is that not even? Well, let's take a look at it. If I did f of negative x equals negative x squared minus x. So that equals x squared minus x. Is that, original, is that the same as my f of x? No. So that is not an even function. Okay. So just don't look at, oh, if you have an even exponent, it's even. It's not always the case. Okay. So now let's look at this is what we call an odd function. And the reason why it's an odd function is it's symmetrical. Does anybody know what that graph is symmetrical about? It's, yeah, very good. It's symmetrical about your x and your y axis, or what we call our origin. So think about it. If I were to flip this over my x-axis, it would look something like this, right? Something like that. And then if I was to reflect it about my y-axis, I'm going to get the exact same graph back, right? So all odd functions are symmetrical about your um, y-axis and x-axis. Even more importantly, though, algebraically, you can test that by saying f of negative x, meaning if I plug in negative x into my function, I get out negative, f, oh, negative f of x. Okay, So let's take a look at my one function. Let's do f of negative x. This function is f of x equals uh, x cubed. So if I did um, f of x, it would be negative x cubed, which equals negative x cubed. Which looks like that. All right? It equals negative, the opposite of itself. No, that one's pot. That one's x squared, and that one's a negative x squared. Right. A negative x cubed, x negative x times negative x times negative x, is going to be your negative x cubed. Let's look at an, Let's look at another example. Um, 
Let's take a look at, uh, let's try f of x. Let's do f of x equals x cubed minus x squared. So if I did f of x, or f of negative x, I would get negative, negative x cubed minus a negative x squared, right? Which gives me negative x cubed, that's a positive, minus x squared. When I factor out a negative, I get x cubed plus x squared. So is that my, is that my f of x? No. no. So that's not odd. This is an odd function, but that one's not odd because when I factor out my negative, it's not negative f of x because that's not f of x. f of x is x cubed minus x squared. Make sense? OK. So that's odd and even functions. Everybody have an idea of it? Yes? OK.